I, um, I certainly want to begin, uh, like a lot of the other, um, uh, all the other inductees to this point, and thank the, uh, the Hall of Fame committee um, for their selection. I, um, I'm very humbled by this. A um, little, uh, little nervous. Uh, this is not my forte up here, but um, anyways, uh, I'm, I'm also very honored uh, for the for the award. And uh, and again, congratulations to the the other uh, four inductees. Um, I also uh, like Scott. I want to. Uh, I don't know where he is out there. Uh, Jason Germain um, back there. Um, Again, uh, it was great working with you, Jason, and we had never met till tonight, but uh, many uh, phone calls and emails, so I really appreciate all the work that you, uh, you put in. Um, I do want to uh, start with uh, something very dear to me, which is my family, and uh, they're sitting right over here, and I would like to just at least name them. Um, my wife, uh, Jerry, we, we just celebrated our 30th wedding anniversary. Um, and uh, ironically, she's a, a, a professor of Providence College, which was our huge nemesis when I uh, when I ran here. Uh, they were they were darn good, um, and they still are. But uh, and anyways, I have my uh, my three daughters there, uh, in no particular order. But uh, Sasha, Jessica, and Lauren are, are sitting there. Um, and uh, my mother-in-law, uh, Lillian Gullivan, and um, her husband, Bert Hoffman. So I'd like to just acknowledge them. Um, I, I didn't expect this one to be that this big, but um, I also have the Suttonians back there, um, which I'd like to, I'd like to acknowledge. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm really honored to have uh, all of them here. There's uh, uh, my athletic director, Dan DeLonchamp, back there, and uh, a absolutely fabulous guidance counselor I work with, Diane Michalak, um, great, great lady I work with. And uh, Peter Hunkler is one of the dads of the kids on our team, and the rest of the lads and lasses are all uh, kids I've coached. Uh, Ben Hunkler, Bart Walsh, Zach Walsh, Sarah Hebert, Lauren Cadron, and Tom Greeno. Did I miss anybody? Oh, Caitlin. I never coached Caitlin, but Caitlin's a student here. And actually, all of them, except for Bart, right, are students or were students here, correct? Yes. Okay. So, and, and some of them still, still run, um, so that's always great. Um, on a somewhat note of uh, regret, I. Um, I really wish my, uh, my parents could be here, um, as well as my father-in-law, Hank Golovin. Uh, my dad, Hank, and actually my brother are all deceased, and uh, I wish they could be here to, um, uh, to see this, because I think they'd be um, very happy about it. My mom um, is alive, she's 95, and um, lives on the coast of Maine in the beautiful island of Deer Isle, but she just is uh, too old and, and frail to be here, but I know, uh, um, but yeah, she might be still up. Um, but I know she's, I know she's thinking about it. Um, and my parents, I, I really have to comment on them because they weren't athletes themselves. They came from rural Pennsylvania, very poor uh, background, and really didn't do sports at all. And um, my brother and I were hockey players as well as um, I became a runner. And um, I loved hockey, much to Coach O'Brien's chagrin, but um, I was a better runner, I guess. So um, I... Um, uh, my parents really just uh, didn't, there was no pressure from them, they, well this is kind of curious, you're running, and I guess that's okay. And they really just let me evolve and develop, which was nice, and um, I, I really appreciated that. And then they started coming to a lot of the meets, both in high school and college, and often attended the meets up here at, at UMass, as well as traveling um, to some of our um, off-site uh, venues. I also have two coaches. I only had two coaches in my career, which is actually really nice. It's great. Uh, my high school coach, Phil Ryan, is still coaching there at Hollison High School. And um, of course, Obi, or better known as uh, Ken O'Brien. And Ken is right there. Um, both gentlemen are, are, and I really, truly use that word um, very directly here, they're, they're just gentlemen. Um, 
They were very kind, thoughtful, um, always wanted to know what you were thinking and how you were feeling. Um, they were both athletes themselves. Ken was a great athlete here back in, in his time. Um, in fact, when I was first here, I believe you still held the, well, it was 880 then, correct? The 880 record at UMass, of course, now things are in meters. But um, So both my high school and college coach is, were uh, great athletes, and I think they understood the uh, real difficult uh, side that running is and all the um, mental and physical preparation that goes into that. So I feel extremely fortunate to have had both Ken and uh, Phil, Phil Lyon as my mentors. And in my coaching style now, I, I borrow extremely liberally, liberally um, and that's actually my political persuasion as well, um, from both of these gentlemen. So again, thank you, Ken, and uh, Phil couldn't be here, but uh, thanks to Phil Lyon as well. So thank you, guys. Uh, there's, um, like the lacrosse, there's a, a number of uh, my former teammates here. Uh, some of them I haven't seen in, in ages, and a lot of that's my fault. I'm not the greatest in keeping in touch. Uh, Devin, my uh, roommate right there, he would, he and, he and his wife, Jan, uh, they're out in Colorado, and, and Devin would religiously and faithfully send me uh, the Christmas letter, and, and, and I don't know how many years went by where I never answered, and Jerry was always on my back about it, and, and, and then, so, so that's mostly my fault, and uh, so I, I, I apologize for my uh, lack of uh, contact. Um, I did get some nice emails from, uh, from people in terms of tonight, and uh, I did want to just note that, uh, and people from the 1974 championship team, uh, Jim Hennessy wanted me to mention that, so there it is. So those of you who remember Jim Hennessy, uh, he wanted me to mention that. Um, in terms of my career, I, I really have to also mention my education that I received here at UMass. Uh, I was a sociology major and uh, went right into a social work career. Uh, which is where I met my wife, Jerry, in Vermont. She was a teacher in the public schools up there, and uh, I had moved there. And, uh, but I really, my foundation from now, my 35 years as a social worker, really started here um, as a social major. I went on and, and got my master's eventually, but um, I just have to comment on the education I received here, because I think it was great. And um, it wasn't quite 50 bucks, but it was a bargain. It was a bargain uh, then, and I believe it still is. So again, thanks to the education establishment here. And and finally, I um, I, I have a just an incredible privilege of working and coaching at Sutton High School as well as the middle school. We're a small district uh, just south of Worcester, and. Uh, it's just the greatest uh, opportunity for me, and I love every day about it, and I love uh, sort of like what I call my day job as well as my um, after-school job, both uh, indoors, outdoors, and, um, and XC. Uh, and we're, again, we're small enough, I coach both the genders as well. Um, we open our season tomorrow, our cross-country season, and um, our assistant coach is going to take over. I'm going to be thinking of them. So uh, in conclusion, um, go Susie's and go Sammy's. Thank you very much. <laughs>